NASA will attempt to slam a spaceship into an asteroid nearly seven miles away. That's why we're talking about this. We're trying to get the guest on right now who is going to be, who is informed on this DART project, which will just hopefully nudge this asteroid. So I don't think we're worried about this asteroid coming and hitting Earth right now. Yeah, we're, we're not worried about that. <laughs> and uh, probably shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. But we have an astronomer here who's going to tell us whether we should be worried about it or not. Uh, here to tell us more about this exciting mission live is planetary astronomer with Johns Hopkins University, Andy Rivkin. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, doing doing well. just fine. Yeah, first of all, why are we doing this? Are, are we just doing this just to find out whether we can, or is there some other reason for it? Uh, this is a test. There is nothing incoming. There are no asteroids that are coming our way that we're trying to prevent. If you look at the movies, there's always some point where you go, why didn't they test this out before trying it for real? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, right? um, and uh, asteroid impacts are really the one natural disaster that we can avert if we act early enough and we find objects. So this is a part of a test to, to make sure that we can do that. So what exactly are you expecting to happen later tonight uh, with this with this launch? We um, are, uh, you know, the, the dark spacecraft is coming in to meet Dimorphos, which is a moon of the asteroid Didymos. It's um, coming in at 14,000 miles an hour. So it's being uh, autonomously navigated by the computer on board. And what is going to happen is it's going to hit Dimorphos. It's going to give its... Uh, momentum uh, to Dimorphos. It's going to get a little, a little push uh, around its main body, and that will change its orbit by just a little bit around Didymos. And then we're going to, in the days and weeks following, uh, measure how much we've changed its orbit around Didymos. And that will kind of give us a, a clue as to how effective this technique is. Yeah, the DART mission, it, it is about planetary defense. So uh, tell us more about what planetary defense is and uh, more of what you hope to learn from this experiment. Uh, the asteroids have been hitting Earth since there has been an Earth, and it's had uh, those sorts of impacts have had really serious uh, influence on the history of life on Earth, right? There are no dinosaurs around uh, as, as because of an asteroid impact. Uh, unlike other natural disasters like hurricanes or earthquakes or volcanoes, um, we can predict asteroid impacts far ahead of time, decades ahead of time, uh, and we can intervene to prevent them from actually happening. So that's unique among natural disasters. Planetary defense is basically that, that field of looking to see what's out there, um, checking the orbits, making sure that nothing is on the way. And then if we were to find something that is on the way to have the techniques to, to prevent it from actually hitting the Earth. This is so fascinating. I love this. Okay, so let's say everything goes according to plan as we hope it does later today. The dark spacecraft, hits the asteroid, uh, you know, 7 million miles away from Earth. How, how quickly will we find out if everything was successful? Not just that the spacecraft hit the asteroid, but that the mission of diverting it um, or just nudging it off its course a little bit was successful. We have uh, telescopes on all seven continents that are going to be watching tonight, um, and that will give us some information. We expect that the debris cloud that DART would cause on an impact would brighten the whole system. Um, and then in the days and weeks after that, we will be studying the brightness of the system. Uh, Dimorphos moves in front of and then behind Didymos every time it orbits, and that changes the brightness. So by watching that brightness go up and down, uh, we'll be able to see how much Dimorphos' orbit has changed around Didymos. And that will give us the data that, we, that we're looking for. Wow. Now, briefly, uh, you said that uh, we're able to, you know, forecast if and when an asteroid could hit Earth. Uh, so from what you know now, what's the likelihood that there's a big rock out there that's a big enough danger to Earth that we might need to use this technology? Um, objects like Dimorphos, we think, on average, uh, hit the Earth every sort of 20 to 25,000 years. So the odds are good that in our lifetime, no, nothing's going to happen. But we've only found about half of the objects that are the size of Dimorphos. Uh, so that's another piece of the overall planetary defense story is having telescopes out there surveying the skies and that's happening to look for the other half uh, until we find the rest of those and kind of can give us the all clear um uh, missions like dart and techniques like like the, the kinetic impactor technique are kind of insurance policies just to make sure that in case something were found Wow. I just, again, I find it so fascinating. I wish that I could spend the next hour and 45 minutes of our show talking to you, uh, but I, I know that you have a busy day ahead. 
So we'll let you go. Andy Rivkin, thank you so much for taking the time to talk about this project with us here on AM Extra. Absolutely. Watch us tonight on NASA TV. Uh, I will. <laughs> I, I can't, can't promise that. All right, take care. And Coin6 will follow today's mission as it does happen. We'll post the latest on coin.com. Well, if we talk to him for the next hour and 45 minutes, that would be about the length of one of those movies that we were talking That's about. True. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So we could add some visual effects and the whole thing. He, and he brought up a good point that I never thought of, which is why in those movies they never tested that out beforehand. I never, I know, never even asked that question. first go around and it failed oh in a couple of days. So. That's so <laughs> funny. <Failed>. Yeah. <laughs>